During this series of Sixth Sense, I've been inviting some friends to come and join me here on the programme to give you examples of how they work. And today it's the turn of my very good friend and fellow medium. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr Tony Stockwell. So we all... Well, hello everyone. And thank you for agreeing to work with me today. Now, I've got a, um, a gentleman here with me, first of all. I've got a man that feels to be in his 50s, 55, 56, 57 years of age as he passed there into the spirit world. I'm quite aware that when he passed, he would have gone very suddenly into the spirit world. I feel uh, strongly he's a dad looking for a daughter. He's a father here looking for a girl that belongs to him as he comes forward. Now, as I, as I get this sense of gentleman, I've got here what I can only describe as a very masculine man, like a proper man's man. So I don't want a man that's kind of quiet or too gentle. Okay, the same gentleman would have been a hard working man, but I feel a f he worked his hat with his hands or he would have worked physically with his hands. Yeah. So I want to like turn wood or I, I, I want to do something with carpentry or yeah. wood and that kind of thing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I know that this man is capable of anything what went wrong in his house or in anybody else's home. He's the kind of guy that I could call upon that would be able to sort stuff out. I feel at the time that he passed into the spirit world that his mother was already in the spirit world then? No, she has gone now. Okay. She had not at the time. Okay, I get a sense of mum with him, absolutely yeah, in now, the spirit yes. world. I do, I feel that. And I get the sense of him coming, I get a sense of her coming too, but I don't want to muck around with her because she's a bit careful. I feel that she's, um, she's quite a full fright oh, woman, absolutely. this one, and um, there's loads of things I could have said about her, but I know she comes in, but it's like, you better get this right, boy, or you've had oh, it. True, that's that's true. what she gives me, that's her. And um, he makes me laugh, she makes me laugh, because I feel a bit sorry for him, really, because I know that she would have badgered him a little bit if he didn't do as he's told, yes. and in some ways, she led him a bit of a merry dance there. So I feel if he hadn't phoned her enough, hadn't gone round yes. enough, she's on the phone, what's the matter with you? Have yes. I offended you? Now, darling, your mum must have been a quite a short woman mm. in the life. Yes. Because at first I thought it might be a child next to me, but it's actually, I thought she's a right little yeah, woman, very little lady. Little. Yes, she was. And um, I, f what, I don't know, what, four foot eleven? She like, feels yeah, tiny. Yeah, very tiny. That's yes. it. Now, as I know, I just sense this tiny woman standing at the side of me here. I know that she loved to talk, my lady, oh. loved <laughs> to talk Very because much. I can't get a word in edgeways no. and that's hard for you to believe isn't it but I know that she just keeps chatting 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 on there all right darling you're doing all right now as she talks to me I feel your mum had dentures darling yes that's it now um, I don't want to be unkind about her teeth but either her teeth slipped a bit or because when she talks it feels like her teeth move she used to crack them that's fine that's it long. because I know in the spirit she's got good spirit teeth eh <laughs> But she's reminding you of how it was when she was alive. Mm. Now, for some reason, she's got one hand bigger than the other, or there's a real yes, sense of did. swelling in one of her hands. No, she had one hand bigger than the other. One hand yeah. bigger than the other, that's fine, as long as you know it, darling. Because she makes me do that, but I feel more my left hand than my right she's hand. left-handed. Okay, all right, darling. Now, hold on for one second. I'm going back to the young lady in the black. The gentleman I feel is father comes back to you now, darling, comes back to you. And as he does, he wants to say a big sorry to you, a big apology there to you because he knows now that he's gone to the spirit world that he let you down that's what I know he let you down and he talks here about uh, um, well it's his words not mine about he was a pillock that's what he says I was a pillock <laughs> in life and I didn't always know where my bread was buttered I didn't always know who loved me that's what I know and um, it makes me feel like two things that when he died and passed to the spirit world you not only grieved for the loss of your father but you grieved for the loss of a man that you didn't really know the loss of a man that never really could become like a dad to you that's what I know I feel strongly darling that you look a lot like this man that you look a lot like him because I look at your face there the face I'm seeing here which I believe is your dad yeah. I just it feels like two peas in a pod you know True. you and him together that's what I know I also get this sense darling that four years before he passed there was either no contact or very little contact God. last four years of his life five years okay yes. that's fine but it feels like a whole chunk of time that's what I get yes. where we didn't speak where we didn't get we didn't get on it's something like that that's, that pulled the two of you apart where there wasn't that connection that's right and um, I, I, I know that you have 
uh, um, taken on some kind of responsibility where that goes, but don't. None of it should to do with you. None of that responsibility is to do with you. That's what I want to say. I know he wants to take it on his big, broad shoulders. So he comes here as a good dad now. So you mustn't really think of the man as he was prior to passing. You think of the best quality of your dad, the best bits of your dad, and that's what he's like all the time there in the spirit. I'll offer you the love of your dad, darling, and so that's what he's thank come you. for. So thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you. Very much. Tony mentioned that there was a man in his 50s looking for his daughter. Um, I had lost my dad in his 50s and he was stocky built. He would have worked physically with his hands, yeah. so I want to like turn wood. He was my brother, yeah, he was a carpenter in his time and he was in the Navy and he could fix cars. He could sort of turn his hands to anything. I know that she would have badgered him a little bit if he didn't do as he's told. Yes, she did. She moaned at him a lot and she moaned at all of us because as Tony said, she liked to talk a lot, and uh, you couldn't get a word in edgewise, could no. you, let's be honest. No. And if she had to say anything to you, she would say it. Now, as she talks to me, I feel your mum had dentures, darling. Is it? Her teeth always mm. would fall out, wouldn't they? And when we were little, her teeth would fall out, and she'd be asleep, and her teeth would fall out. And... She used to rattle them at you when she was angry. You always knew when she was angry because she would somehow rattle her teeth. And I remember spending years trying to copy this and my teeth wouldn't rattle. <laughs> I feel strongly, darling, that you look a lot like this man. I am, aren't I? Very much. Very much like my dad, mm. in person and in looks wise. That surprised me when Tony did say that because, yes, I'm a, I'm a spitting image of my dad. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He wants to say a big sorry to you. Really, all my life, he'd never been a dad to us. You know, not a dad that you'd be a proud of. Uh, that's probably why he's saying sorry, because he was never there for us. Michelle and her brother hadn't spoken to him for a number of years, so I'm glad that he's at last trying to amend and put things right with them. I'll offer you the love of your dad, darling, because I know that's what he's Thank come you. for. Today has changed the way I think about my dad, and I think today has brought closure, finally, to what, what had happened in the past. So I think I'll take a few things away with me today about my dad, yeah. Things are different. Differently. Mm. Differently.